Hey there everyone, hope you're having a great day. So today I want to show you how to connect your Twilio numbers to retail. And this is going to open up a world of possibilities for how you are able to communicate with customers, prospects, clients within your uh, business. But before I dive into the how, I want to talk a little bit about the why and the what. So I want to give you the overall context and the macro perspective of why uh, connecting Twilio with retail is even such a big deal and uh, what it means for the future of voice AI automation. All right, so let's dig in. So first, to understand why Twilio and voice AI integration is so powerful, we want to understand sort of what's going on behind the scene here, okay? So, and to do that, we need to understand what SIP trunking is. So, it's sort of the way that these phones in your, in your business phones and all this stuff connects to the internet. So first, we need to understand what voice over internet protocol is. And that's the technology that lets you make and receive phone calls over the internet instead of using traditional phone lines. It's the way your voice is converted into data and sent through the internet to the other person, okay? And where SAP trunking comes in, it's sort of the bridge that connects a business phone system, or what's known as a PBX, to the internet so it can use voice over internet protocol, protocol okay? And you know, instead of needing old-fashioned phone lines, SFP trunking lets you connect from anywhere in the world and run your business, essentially. Okay, that's the key thing to understand here. So the world is becoming more globalized than ever. Entrepreneurs need the ability to conduct business from anywhere in the world. And SFP trunking, and by extension Twilio, allows this. Okay? So what's going to happen is as time goes on, um, people who don't really upgrade or are still bottlenecked by these older systems and don't sort of keep up with the times and see where technology is heading, they're going to get left behind, okay? And when AI, when AI comes in and people want to automate, you know, their, their communication channels, voice, SMS, email, um, traditional phone systems simply can't really integrate with AI-powered platforms like retail and VAPI, okay? And businesses risk falling behind competitors who adopt these AI enhanced communication systems. And real quick to make things perfectly clear, I just wanted to insert this diagram on SIP trunking and voice over in a protocol. So uh, here's the traditional phone network, right? Here is the voice over internet provider, the internet, the router, and then between the, the, uh, the servers, which will, will connect you to everything else on the internet, uh, laptops, phones, uh, everyone else's IP addresses from across the world is the SIP trunking network, okay? And this def this example is a LAN network, but in this case with Twilio, they use what's called an elastic SIP trunking system, which is a cloud-based SIP trunking. So just think of this business network, the LAN, the local area network, as an elastic one. Think like Think of uh, like the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, all right? So this is just sort of an overview of how things work. So with Twilio, you can connect anywhere in the world to the telephone network. That's the key thing to remember here. So how does the problem get solved? Elastic SIP trunking enables seamless integration of custom phone numbers from Twilio with advanced platforms like Retail AI, unlocking new possibilities for AI automation and communication. Okay, so this stuff is really very new. Being able to send text, like dynamic, customized text calls, emails at scale with uh, that are powered by LLMs and that can understand certain contexts and react dynamically, uh, customized to specific uh, clients, prospects. This is all very new stuff. All right, and Twilio allows you to streamline all these. Like traditionally, everyone knows that you can send out a lot of mass texts and everything. But now you throw in AI into the mix and there's a ton of possibilities that um, spring up. So Twilio it utilizes this voice over internet technology to connect traditional phone systems with internet-based applications. So it enables global calls and messaging. Um, and it's super scalable and flexible. So you can do a lot of things with Twilio. It's very developer friendly, right? So for these 
small and medium sized businesses, this sort of technology and progression of AI technology is going to be huge, right? Because this, these, these LLMs and this, this AI, it's democratized uh, AI technology, right? It's not just the big enterprises and big tech who this stuff is reserved for. Any business can start implementing voice AI today, right? And start, you know, enhancing their influence and reach that they normally wouldn't have with just you know, a limited number of employees, right? That had to manually do these tasks. These tasks. And it, in with retail and SIP trunking and Twilio, Twilio you can seamlessly integrate advanced voice automation. Uh, manage and scale their telecommunication needs cost effectively, right? This is much cheaper than traditional call centers, right? You can you can do outreach at scale and handle inbound calls at a fraction of the cost as traditional call centers with live humans. All right, so this drastically reduces the amount of manual labor and you know just monotonous, repetitive time you have to put in a lot of this work, and frees up your employees to do much more. Uh, substantial lever moving tasks right so what's going to happen in the future and this is just my you know opinion my educated guess these custom telephony networks will be completely standardized and implemented with ai right platforms like retail and uh, live kit especially will drive a trend towards businesses creating fully optimized telephony solutions integrated with voice ai and most importantly is this is the key thing here is global reach, right? With the ability to import custom numbers from anywhere in the world and conduct business, these businesses can maintain localized communication and leveraging global scalability, okay? And think about like multilingual voice agents. If you're a business that only conducts business in English or maybe you're not English and you're in Spanish, you can now conduct business globally with these AIs that can speak in multiple language multiple languages at once on one call right if they start talking in spanish whoever picks up that other the end of the phone call they'll be able to speak in that language okay think about that and how that's going to affect um these smbs you know sort of business these smbs are going to be able to conduct business on a much uh, more global uh, scale right they're not going to be confined to you know especially all these businesses that don't speak english English isn't their first languages. We're going to start to see more of them, uh, more and more of them competing on the world stage. You can do customer service in any language. Okay, how crazy is that? Over the phone with voice, with voice AI. So there's some quick examples, right? E-commerce, you know, handling custom inquiries. You can handle them in any language now on the phone. Spanish, French, English, German, Pash two. OK. Um, and you can answer all the, the you can reduce wait times, answering all the FAQs that come up in any language. Handle higher call volumes, with low, low cost scalability. Right. You can handle more volume with lower cost. Or you could look at something like a marketing agency that runs personalized outreach campaigns. OK, so think about if you have someone call a Facebook ad, right? You run a Facebook ad, have them call this number to qualify, whatever it is, okay? It can be for insurance, this can be for real estate. You run a number, and then that number is just an AI that an answers these questions and qualifies, and then books appointments, okay? It's simple, but this hasn't been able to be done before. Now it's now it's possible, okay? And you could streamline all of that through Twilio and have SMS reminders, um, voice AI outbound reach uh, reminders, all this stuff is now possible. So now we're going to head over to Twilio to create our SIP trunk. So all we got to do is come up here, type SIP trunk, click on Elastic SIP trunks. Then we wanted to go to create new SIP trunk. We're going to name it. OK. So we're in general now. So come over, just click call transfer. Yes, enabled. Click on enable PSTN transfer. All right, and then click save. That's all we need to do here. Then come over to termination. I'm gonna create our termination SIP URL. Okay, 
So let's do something like retail test trunk. Okay. Add credentials. And this is important. It's the only other thing you need to do for the termination is add credentials. Okay. And then once we got those in, create. All right, so now definitely remember to click save. Now we come down to origination and we wanna add a origination URI. So we click that and it says we have a couple options here, origination SIP URI, priority weight. Don't worry about the priority or weight. We just want to get this in. So go over to retail, retails docs, okay? Under deploy and then under connect to custom telephony providers via SIP, click on overview. And right at the top, right this URL right here, livekit.cloud. I'm gonna copy that exactly how it is. Back over to Twilio, copy paste that in there and hit add, okay? And then that should be good. Then we're gonna click on add a number. I've got a number here ready to go, add selected. Then that's ready. So all we need to do is copy this number and let's head back over to retail. So once we're in retail, we want to click on phone numbers, add a phone number, connect your number via SIP trunking. First, put the number in, okay? Then the termination URI, this is what we created before. So go back to termination. This whole thing right here, so get that, get that copy. Okay, whole thing, paste it, make sure there's no space in between. And then our credentials that we created from earlier, we gotta input those here. All right, so our credentials are inputted and we will click save. And now our newly imported Twilio number should be ready for use with all our agents, okay? And that is how you can easily and quickly integrate your Twilio numbers into Retail AI to use for your voice agents, all right? And this opens up a world of possibilities for streamlining communication with your business, okay? So a lot you can do with that. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed uh, the content. And if you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.